I hardly done a Bible study on numbers, so this will be one of those videos. So we're going to cover Isaiah. For some of you who don't know, Bible believers know that the book of Isaiah, it consists of 66 chapters. And being 66 chapters, we believe, and a lot of the Bible-believing preachers teach, that being 66 chapters, coincidentally, each chapter matches up with all 66, or each 66, uh, excuse me, each book of the Bible. So basically, 66 chapters of Isaiah, each of them will match with each book of the Bible, so 66 chapters matching with 66 books of the Bible. Now, there are some verses that I got into where you can see the similarity. However, there is a person who uh, delved up the specifics into that. So he's a KJV only advocate. His name is G. John Rove. Uh, but the thing is, is that uh, I'm, uh, he's not a Bible-believing pastor involved with the Bible-believing church, so I want to give that disclaimer. I don't want people to say that I recommended him as a Bible-believing source. Uh, the guy uses some contemporary stuff, and just some things are a little off. So, but uh, he is a strong KJV-only advocate. He believes that every single word in the King James Bible is perfect, but he goes down to exact numbers as well, which is very fascinating. I looked at his uh, uh, stuff on numbers. A lot of it is extremely interesting. But a lot of it also, I'd say, to be very careful. A lot of it is uh, just uh, connections that a lot of people can make, actually. And some of his numbers were actually off when I calculated. So that's why uh, just take it with a grain of salt. So that's why I don't really recommend. But uh, he delved into the specifics about each 66 books and how they match with the book of Isaiah. Now, we don't have time because one minute per one book of the Bible would be one hour and six minutes, and that's already over time. So what I'm going to do is this. You're going to be doing a lot of writing. Yeah. All right? You all get ready, all right? You onliners are going to have some fun. You're going to be doing a lot of writing, and we're going to look at, uh, we're going to look at what he explored on basically each chapter in Isaiah matching with each book of the Bible. And it is indeed very fascinating. So me, I am a strong believer that each chapter of Isaiah would match with each book in your Bible. So our God is a God of numbers. Let's uh, look at the book of Isaiah. So we see here, uh, Isaiah, basically just count the number of chapters, and then you'll notice 66. You'll notice it is 66 chapters in the book of Isaiah. Realizing that's the case, also know that Jesus, that the first time uh, he used scripture in public for his preaching is the book of Isaiah, which is very, very interesting. Now, going to Genesis chapter 2, please. Genesis chapter 2. And if your other hand's at Isaiah, we are going to look at one passage that will be at chapter 1 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 2. Now, notice how this very interestingly goes hand in hand. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1, switch it around. Uh, excuse me, Isaiah chapter uh, 1, verse 2, excuse me, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2, and switch it around to Genesis chapter 2, verse 1. That's pretty cool. And look at the wording here that your King James Bible does it. The Bible says at Isaiah 1, 2, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. So notice that the heavens and the earth is mentioned at chapter 1, verse 2. Look at chapter 2, verse 1 of Genesis. Notice the wording. Thus the what? Heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. That is very interesting. Uh, here's another one. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9, we don't, have turn, uh, we don't have time to turn there, so write it down. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9, and then Genesis 19, Genesis 19. Notice again the numbers here with Genesis 2, 1 with Isaiah 1, 2, and then also notice with 
Isaiah uh, chapter uh, 1, verse uh, 1 verse 9 with Genesis 19. Genesis 19. See that? The numbers here very close. What is chapter 1 verse 9? It reads here, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as what? Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Genesis 19 is a story of what? Sodom and Gomorrah. That's amazing. All right, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 3. And the second passage is Exodus 24, verse 12. Exodus chapter 24, verse 12. I'm not going to be writing all the numbers, so onliners have to pay very close attention to the verses that I give out. But uh, this will be uh, up on online, uh, even though it's going to be privatized later, it's going to be up online later on. So you can always uh, pause and rewind later. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 3. The Bible says, And many shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. Right? Going up to the mountain and let God teach you. Did that happen? Yes. Exodus 24, 12. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me into the mount, and be there, and I will give thee tables of stone and a law, and commandments which I have written, that thou mayest teach them. Very close to Isaiah 2. Teaching by coming up to the mount. Uh, coincidence, of course. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 1. Isaiah 3, verse 1. Second passage, Leviticus 26, 26. Again, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 1, and Leviticus 26, 26. Isaiah 3, 1. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread. Leviticus 26, 26. And when I have broken the staff of your bread. Number 3. Number 4, Isaiah chapter 4, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 5. I'm only going to repeat it twice, all right? So, get, so make sure you write it quickly. You don't have to write the explanation, all right? Listen up, everybody. You don't have to write the explanation, all right? Just write the verse. You can go home and then examine the scriptures yourself because you need to do it. You're lazy anyway, okay? So <laughs> I'm kidding, okay. All right, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 4, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 5. Numbers 9, 16. Numbers 9, 16. And abbreviate the books, all right? That'll be faster. All right, Isaiah 4, 5. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night. Numbers, so it was always the cloud covered it by day and the appearance of fire by night. Isaiah 5, 14. Isaiah 5, 14. Therefore hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure, matching with the fifth book, Deuteronomy 32.22. Deuteronomy 32.22. For a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. Joshua chapter 1, verse 1. Joshua chapter 1, verse 1. Notice the wording about when a person dies, they encounter God. Matching. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 4. Fear not, neither be faint-hearted, for the two tales of these smoking fire brands, matching with Judges 15, verse 4. Judges 15, verse 4. And Samson went and caught 300 foxes and took fire brands and turned tail to tail and put a fire brand in the midst between two tails. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 3. And I went unto the prophetess, and she conceived, and bare a son. Then, the Lord to, then said the Lord to me, Call his name 
Maher Shalal Hashbaz. What in the world? Shalal Hashbaz, Ruth chapter 2, verse 23. So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz. Boaz. Nuts, right? By the way, Maher Shalal Hashbaz means make haste to the spoils. Boaz means make haste. Whoa. Okay, Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 7 and 12. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 7 and 12. What a book. If you missed out something, it's okay. Just rewind the video, you guys, later, okay? <laughs> Isaiah, rewind. <laughs> All right. Isaiah 9, 7, verse 12 says, David and Philistines. Uh, Isaiah, at 1 Samuel chapter 21, verse 9. 1 Samuel chapter 21, verse 9. It says, Philistine and David in the same passage. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 17. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 17. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire. 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 17. 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 17. That thou quench not the light of Israel. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 14 through 16. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 14 through 16. It mentions, this is crazy, it mentions Philistines, Edom, Moab, children of Ammon, Assyria, Israel, the land of Egypt in Isaiah 11. 1 Kings chapter 4, chapter 9, 1 Kings chapter 4, chapter 9, chapter 11, and chapter 12 mentions Philistines, Edom, Moab, children of Ammon, Syria, Israel, the land of Egypt. Nuts. All right. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 6. For great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. 2 Kings 5.15. 2 Kings 5.15. There is no God in all the earth, but in Israel. Giving the same adoration to one God and not other gods. Isaiah 13, verse 12. Isaiah 13, verse 12. Make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. That's nuts. A golden wedge of Ophir, so what? First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 4. First Chronicles chapter 25. 29 verse 4. It did not. Yes, it did. It says, even 3,000 talents of gold, gold of Ophir. Wow. Yeah, word for word. All right, Isaiah chapter 14 verse 28. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 28. In the year that King Ahaz died. It talked about King Ahaz dying. Second Chronicles chapter 28 verse 27. 2 Chronicles chapter 28, verse 27. Ahaz slept with his fathers and they buried him. All right. Isaiah chapter 15. Isaiah chapter 15, verse 2 through 8. Verses 2 through 8. It says, weep, howl, howl, weeping, cry, 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 weeping, cry, cry, howling, howling. Why so redundant on so much crying and weeping? Because it happened at Ezra chapter 3. Ezra chapter 3, verses 12 through 13. Verses 12 through 13. But many of the priests and Levites and chief of the fathers wept with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of weeping. That excessive. All right, Isaiah chapter 16, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 16, verse Verse 5, and in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it in truth, the tabernacle of David. Tabernacle of David, and you get mercy. Nehemiah chapter 1, Nehemiah chapter 1, chapter 9, and chapter 13. Chapter 1, chapter 9, chapter 13. It says, mercy, 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 so many times. And he mentions the tabernacle of David. 
when crying for mercy. And the city of David, the sepulchers of David, the commandment of David, the musical instruments of David, the city of David again, the house of David, the commandment of David again, and the days of David. How about that? Isaiah chapter 17, verse 14. Isaiah chapter 17, verse 14. This is the portion of them that spoil us and the lot, the lot of them that rob us. Esther chapter 3, verse 7. Esther chapter 3, verse 7. They cast pearl, that is the lot, before Haman. And they say it again at chapter 9, verse 24. Chapter 9, verse 24. Cast pearl, that is the lot, <laughs> to consume them. Isaiah chapter 18, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 18, verse 1. Woe. And it says, uh, woe quite often. Job chapter 10, verse 15 is where it says it m most often. Job 10, 15. Woe unto me, see thou mine affliction. Right? Tribulation, the woes that Job went, Job went through. Isaiah matched it. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 11 through 13. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 11 through 13. Zoan are fools. The princes of Zoan are become fools. Well, that's foolish. Zoan. Psalm 78, verse 12 and verse 43. Psalms 78, verse 12 and verse 43. The field of Zoan in the field of Zoan. How about that? Isaiah chapter 20, verse 5 through 6. Isaiah chapter 20, verse 5 through 6. Afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia, their expectation, such is our expectation. Whether we flee for help to be delivered from the king of Assyria. And guess what? No, they perish. Matching with Proverbs chapter 11, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 7 and verse 23. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish. The expectation of the wicked is wrath. It's like Proverbs warned those people in Isaiah. No, your expectation is going to come to nothing. Isaiah chapter 21, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 21, verse 1. And uh, let's go on this side now, just to make it not boring, right, for the people. As whirlwinds in the south pass through. Well, that's stupid. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 6. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 6. The wind goeth toward the south, it whirleth. God just added there. I don't know why. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 22, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 22, verse 4. Therefore said I, look away from me because of the spoiling of the daughter of my people. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 6. Song of Solomon, chapter 1. Verse 6, look not upon me, but mine own vineyard have I not kept. Look at that, the spoiling of the daughter, matching with the vineyard getting spoiled, and, don't, and look away from us. How about that? Isaiah chapter 23, verse 1 and verse 14. Isaiah chapter 23, verse 1 and verse 14. Ye ships of Tarshish, uh, for it is laid waste. Ships of Tarshish, for your strength is laid waste. Isaiah chapter 23, verse 12, And a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. So that's chapter 23, verse 12. Isaiah chapter 23, verse 12. So notice uh, what? This is matching Isaiah, the book. So we're at the book of Isaiah. That's what's going on. That's why I was confused before. So notice that Isaiah matches with Isaiah here. Now, let's look at uh, Isaiah 24, 16. Isaiah 24, 16. Treacherous dealers have dealt very treacherously. The King James Bible says dealt very treacherously. Jeremiah 5, 11. Jeremiah 5, 11. House of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 1. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness. And guess what? Lamentations agrees. Lamentations 3. Lamentations 3, verse 23. Verse 23. It says, 
Great is thy faithfulness. All right, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 19. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 19. Thy dead men shall live. Ye that dwell in dust, the earth shall cast out the dead. Matching Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Ye shall live, and I shall put my breath in you. Ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, that they may live, and they lived, and I will open your graves cause you to come up out of your graves, and ye shall live. Isaiah 27, 1. Isaiah 27, 1. In that day the Lord with the sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, slay the dragon that is in the sea. Daniel chapter 7, verse 3, verse 11. Daniel chapter 7, verse 3, verse 11. Four great beasts came up from the sea, and I beheld even till the beast was slain. Matching with the devil, the Antichrist. All right, uh, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 1 and verse 3. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 1 and verse 3. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim. And Hosea goes back to back with Isaiah. That's right, Ephraim in his pride. Hosea 5.5. Hosea 5.5, 5. pride of Israel that testifies to his faith, face, Ephraim fall in their iniquity. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 1 through 8. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 1 through 8. Ariel, Ariel, Ariel many times and Mount Zion. And matching with what? For some of you who don't know, Ariel and Mount Zion refer to Jerusalem. Joel chapter 2, Joel chapter 2, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Isaiah says, Ariel, Ariel. Joel comes along beside it, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10. Which say to the seers, prophesy not unto us. Amos chapter 7, verse 12. Amos chapter 7, verse 12. So the previous verse, in case you missed it, Isaiah 30, chapter 30, verse 10. O thou seer, prophesy there. Isaiah chapter 31, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 31, verse 4. So the, shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion. And Obadiah says, that's right, the Lord is going to deliver Mount Zion, Isaiah 31. Obadiah 17. Obadiah 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2. A man shall be as an hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. Will man find uh, their covert, their hiding place from the tempest? Jonah chapter 1. Jonah chapter 1, verse 4 and verse 12. Verse 4 and verse 12. Jonah gives the solution from the tempest. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea. He said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so shall the sea be calm unto you. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 9. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 9. And Bashan and Carmel shake off their fruits. Micah 7, verse 14. Micah 7, 14. In the midst of Carmel, let them feed in Bashan. <laughs> Carmel and Bashan. Isaiah 34, verse 1 and verse 2. Isaiah 34, verse 1, verse 2. Let the earth hear all that is therein, for the indignation of the Lord is upon us. Nahum chapter 1, verse 5. Nahum chapter 1, verse 5 and verse 6. Verse 6. The earth is burned at his presence. Who can stand before his indignation, his fury? Isaiah chapter 35, verse 1 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 1 and verse 2. The desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. 
Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 7 and verse 18. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 7 and verse 18. And guess what? Prophesies the future, all, just like Isaiah. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Isaiah chapter 30, uh, 36, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 36, verse 11. Speak, I pray unto thee, uh, in the Syrian language, speak not to us in the Jews' language. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9, sees the opposite. You must speak the Jewish language. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 37, verse 31. Isaiah chapter 37, verse 31. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah. Haggai chapter 1, verse 14. Haggai chapter 1, verse 14. The spirit of all the remnant of the people. And they came and did work in the house of the Lord of hosts, their God. Isaiah chapter 38, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 38, verse 3. Remember now, O Lord. Remember now, O Lord. Why? Write down book of Zechariah. That's it, Zechariah. Why? Zechariah means the Lord remembers. <laughs> Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 39, verse 3 through 6. Isaiah chapter 39, verse 3 through 6. What said these men? And once, from whence came they unto thee? And Hezekiah said, They are come from a far country unto me, even from Babylon. What have they seen in thine house? Hezekiah answered, All that is in mine house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. To the Babylonians, the house of the Lord, man cannot rob God from the house of the Lord, says Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me in what? His house. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 and verse 2. The New Testament. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Who says your Bible is a boring book? Now, get out your modern Bibles and you'll miss out exactly. the words. You're going to miss out the words. You might get some, but you're going to miss all. You're not going to get all. That's the idea. All right. Here we go. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 and 2. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Speak ye comfort, comfortably to Jerusalem. Matthew chapter 23, verse 37. Chapter 23, verse 37. Chapter 5, verse 4. And chapter 5, verse 4. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Isaiah, uh, but... Even better than that would be, uh, I'm just going to say this briefly, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3, compared with Matthew 3, 3. Why? Isaiah 43 says, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make pa his path straight. And Matthew says, Isaiah says, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. <laughs> Boom. All right. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 7. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 7. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith. Mark chapter 6, verse 3. Mark chapter 6, verse 3. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary? Isaiah chapter 42, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 6. Covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles. Luke chapter 2, verse 32. Luke chapter 2, verse 32 fulfills that prophecy. A light to lighten the Gentiles. All right, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. And John says, Amen, at chapter 10, verse 3. John chapter 10, verse 3. He calleth his own sheep by name, and he knows which are his, right? Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3 and verse 8. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3 and verse 8. 
I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, ye are even my witnesses. And Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, we'll take it at a different spin. We'll use these Jews who are going to convert the Christian, who is going to create the Christian church instead. And ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Ye shall be witnesses unto me. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4. For Jacob my servant's sake and Israel mine elect. Romans chapter 11, verse 26 and 28. Romans chapter 11, verse 26 and verse 28. Israel, Jacob, as touching the election, they are beloved. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 6 and 7. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 6 and 7. He maketh it a God, yet can he not answer? 1 Corinthians chapter 12 says, you're right. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, chapter 12, verse 2, verse 2. You know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 2 through 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 2 through 3. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 8. And what's called a transgressor from the womb. And a fellow nurse named Galatians, follow along Isaiah. Galatians 1.15. Galatians 1.15 follows along with nurse Isaiah talking about the uh, the pregnancy here, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me back to back. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 2. He hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. And that matches with Ephesians 6, 17. Ephesians 6, 17. Can you all guess? The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Isaiah uh, chapter, oh, let's see here. Oh, there's so much good stuff. What shall we go here? 50. Uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 50, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 50, verse 10. Who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant? Philippians chapter 2, verse 7, verse 12. Philippians chapter 2, verse 7, verse 12 took upon him the form of a servant, as ye have always obeyed, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 3. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1 through chapter 4. Chapter 1 through 4. Abounding therein with thanksgiving and uh, singing with melody in your hearts to the Lord. Matching with Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 2. Shake thyself from the dust, arise. Do I smell a rapture? 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. So again, it's Isaiah 52, verse 2, okay? The dead in Christ shall rise first. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1. He asked, who hath believed our report? 2 Thessalonians answered, don't worry. 2 Thessalonians 1.10. 1, 1.10. Our testimony among you was believed. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 51 Isaiah chapter 51, verse 4. Chapter 51, verse 4. Isaiah preaches to the young people. Yes, chapter 54, verse 4. Chapter 54, verse 4. What did I say? Oh, sorry. Chapter 54, verse 4. Sorry. All right. Thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. And 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth. Be thou an example. They preach back to back. 
Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10. The snow from heaven. And 2 Timothy agrees that winter's coming. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 21. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 21. Do thy diligence to come before winter. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb. So what happens? Uh, they're ignorant. They're not listening to doctrine or the preaching. And Titus agrees that it must be made. Titus chapter 1, verse 5 and 9. Titus chapter 1, verse 5 and 9. Elders, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince. Let's see here. Uh, strong drink is also mentioned at Isaiah 56. And then guess what? Elders are not given to wine. Right. Uh, Titus chapter 1 verse 5. Titus chapter 1 verse 5. Isaiah 57 12. Isaiah 57 verse 12. I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, for they shall not profit thee. Philemon chapter 10 verse 11. Philemon chapter 10 verse 11. Onesimus, which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me. Uh, by the way, Onesimus means profitable. Oh. All right, going back, Isaiah 58, verse 2. Isaiah 58, verse 2. Why did Paul just write to Onesimus? Yeah, yeah. Why? Just why? Yeah. You know, why? There are tons of other people, Aquila, Priscilla, Apollo. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 2. Take delight in approaching to God. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. The day approaching. The day approaching. Uh, you can also write verse 12 of Isaiah 58. Verse 12 of Isaiah 58. Because it talks about foundations of many generations. And Hebrews chapter 11 just gives the generations by faith, Abel, by faith, Enoch, by faith, Noah, by faith, Abraham, by faith, Isaac, and Jacob, by faith, Joseph, Sarah, Moses, Rahab, Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 3. For your hands are defiled with blood, your tongue hath muttered perverseness. James chapter 3, verse 6. James chapter 3, verse 6. Uh, James chapter 3, verse 6. 6. So is the tongue that it defileth the whole body. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 2 through 16. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 2 through 16. The darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord's glory shall be seen upon thee, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles. Will you be able to partake in this milk that comes from the glory of the Lord? 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2 through 9, verses 2 through 9, and chapter 4, verse 14. Chapter 4, verse 14. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, out of darkness into his marvelous light, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. One of the most famous passages that Billy Sunday put on his pulpit before he preached. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach. And that is true as 2 Peter 1 21. 2 Peter 1 21. God promised that his preachers would be filled by the Holy Spirit. Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 2. Prophesies about the Gentiles. The Gentiles shall see thy righteousness. When God comes down and reigns as king plainly, and they will see the Jews and the Messiah. 1 John 3, 2. 1 John 3, 2 says, We shall see him as he is. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 8. Children that will not lie. And 2 John 4, 1. 
2 John 4, 1 says, children, walking in truth, <laughs> walking in truth. Though they just have two different versions for that. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 5. Thou meanest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Who particularly? 2 John 5 and, uh, 3 John, excuse me, 3 John 5 and 6. 3 John 5 and 6. Uh, did I say 2 John 4 for the previous one? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> My, I'm thro throwing numbers all of a sudden and I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity. Uh, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 2. Which walketh after their own thoughts. And that tends to be sin, right? Jude 16, 18. Jude 16, 18. Walking after their own lusts. Walk after their own ungodly lusts. Isaiah. Chapter 66, verse 22. Chapter 66, verse 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make. Revelation 21, verse 1. Revelation 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Hey, I'm not done. I'm not done. This is crazy. Look at the last verse in Revelation and the first verse in Genesis. Look at the last verse in Revelation and look at the first verse in Genesis. The book is such an amazing book and God will show you that his word is just past finding out. Isn't that? Now count the number of the letters at the last verse of Revelation 22. All right, count the number of letters. Once you count that, then I want you to go to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. How many letters in Revelation? Did you all count it or no? Is it 44? Is it 44? 44? Yeah. All right, count Genesis 1-1. 1, 1. 44? Genesis 1-1. 1, 1. Revelation 22. I am, Jesus says, I am Alpha and Omega. Every letter. Genesis 1-1, one, one, back to back with Revelation 22, 44 letters. Now, that's, don't tell me that's not an amazing book. 